What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and oh, Team RTFC. Welcoming heavy. you to yet another episode of Okay. So, Good Times. Look yeah, I, I'm just going to let him do his thing. All right. Here's the deal, guys. Something happened. I don't know what it was, be it a disturbance at the space time continuum, something didn't adjust right in the flux capacitor. I don't know what happened. All I know is when I was recording this video, something happened when I went to the open zone and it all kind of got messed up. So, well, <clears throat> we're gonna plow right along into this little adventure. So I hope you enjoy. Happy Back to the Future Day. And well, I'm just gonna leave him to it. See you later, guys. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. So today, we're gonna take a break from the Amico series that we've been doing, taking those deep dives into those games because it's October 21st. And what does that mean? All right, see, so I was just, I just wanted to have fun with it. It's, uh, it's October 21st, which means, to me, it's Back to the Future Day. And what does Back to the Future Day mean to me today? It means that I got this cool package in the mail. I mean, it was pretty cool. Got it in Universal Studios. Uh, Florida, it actually says Hollywood on the, uh, on the thing, but I guess they didn't spring for the Universal Studios Florida or Orlando one. But, I don't know. I actually had this on my car for a while when I was living down in Florida, because you don't have to have that front plate thing. I don't know. Anyway, it's good. It cool right <clears throat> so anyway what's in this box and why are we going to talk back to the future well today or actually yesterday october 20th uh 2020 was the release date because that was a tuesday and that's when when stuff like this comes out um the release date of a pretty awesome thing um that we're going to open right now and check out that is the 4K Ultra HD limited edition 35th anniversary Back to the Future movie collection. It's pretty cool. I pre-ordered this a long time ago, super long time ago. Um, and I forgot that I'd even ordered it until I got an email or some kind of notification on my phone that something was gonna get delivered or there was a message about the delivery date or something like that. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. And then I kind of like started doing the math and I was like, oh, that's kind of clever. They put it out on October 20th and you know, it's the 21st of 2015 was the day that they went back to the future. Uh-huh, yeah, it's like, now it's weird that it's 2020 and that was like now in the past. It's very, very strange, but anyway, how about we go over to the box opening area and get into this thing and take a look. Let's do it. All right, hey, <clears throat> so we're in the, the open zone and uh, about to crack into this bad boy here. So let's, uh, let's get on in here and see what, we can, see what we can see. So let's start opening this here. <clears throat> so I originally got it just because I mean, it is just literally the 4K um, Blu-ray version of the Back to the Future trilogy. And I mean, it's one of my favorite movie series of all time. So I'm really, I'm really excited about uh, seeing that there. Um, but it also came with like some cool things, some cool like tchotchkes and all that kind of stuff. Um, so it's got right on the top of the box here, the limited edition gift set, all three movies. Uh, collectible levitating hoverboard relic, uh, replica. So let's see, let's see how cool that thing is. That thing is this this thing here. This guy. We're gonna open this up right away because you got to check out the toy right before you you just open up the discs and stuff. So, oh look at this. That's really cool. Look, it's got hoverboard. It's got the little magnets. That's really neat. That's super cool. All right, so let's check out this. All right. I have a very funny feeling that this thing is going straight up into my uh, my office. It's going right in my uh, right on my desk here. 
Just got the Back to the Future limited edition thing here. Got this thing here. I'll show you right up close so you guys can see it. And then um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Maybe just like kind of like put it in there and. Nope. All right. Let's see. Oh, what? That's too cool. All right, here. Let's turn it. Let's turn it around. Whoa. It's floating. pretty cool the magnets kind of like you know they kind of keep it in motion that's neat you can kind of see it like floating I mean I don't know if I can tilt it enough I mean it'll it's, it'll, it'll ruin the, the effect but that's that's kind of cool this is this will probably get it even better it actually is like I think that's I mean I know it's magnets and all that stuff but it's kind of cool right it actually is it actually is hovering it's a like hovering hoverboard that would be kind of cool if they had like a little like you know mini Marty or whatever that you can like put on there, and then it would like float up and down and like, you know, like do whatever. That's kind of cool though. It's neat. That's, you know, it, it's like one of those things where you're like, all right, well, you know, you can get a whole bunch of like little mini figs and like that kind of stuff, but like, come on now, that's, it's cool. It's cool. Um, he's got the little, he's got this little like instruction thing. Um, what does it say? Does it say anything like set levitation base? On a level surface, logo upright, gently place hoverboard in, make it move. Okay, cool. Um, the NeoLev hoverboard is a scale technology demonstrator. Um, warning, every aspect of the unit is fragile, so hand it, handle it with care. So I guess, you know, like if you really like mess around with it, you can you know, kind of do damage to it. But I mean, these things are just, you know, it's, it's, it's like plexi and plastic with magnets. So like, I don't know how... I don't know how hard you could possibly be to these things to break them, but I mean, I don't know, whatever. You just go and you just do that, and then it floats, and it's cool. All right. So anyway, so you know, it's, yeah, it's got the Back to the Future logo. There's nothing really doing for the for the uh, instructions, but yeah, it's cool. So then you got the the main event, which is the actual trilogy, um, the ultimate trilogy, as the as the uh, the box says. On the back of the box here, it says all three films in stunning 4K, loaded with bonus features, one hour of all new bonus. Hollywood Music Museum goes back to the future, back to the future musical behind the scenes, and alternate future lost audition tapes. Could you survive the movies? Back to the future. What is that? Explore the magic and science of Back to the Future to find out which laws of phys physics were actually violated in, in the special episode of the popular YouTube series. All right, that's kind of cool. I guess could you survive the movies as a, a YouTube thing? I guess I got to check that out, right? Plus, Tales from the Future six-part documentary, the physics of Back to the Future, deleted scenes, Michael Fox, uh, Michael J. Fox Q and A, eight archival featurettes, behind-the-scenes footage, music videos, audio commentaries, Back to the Future: The Ride. What? What? That's awesome. Oh man, so I mean, one of the reasons why I went to uh, Universal Studios Orlando, and this is going way back, you know, because uh, Simpsons the Ride, and then I think it's even something else, but Simpsons the Ride took over for Back to the Future. That was like my all-time favorite uh, part of Universal Studios Orlando was the Back to the Future ride. It was so cool. That was kitschy and cheesy, and yeah, yeah, whatever. But man, that was so cool, and oh this is on here that's awesome and i know it's probably been on also you know like other blu-ray collections and like that kind of stuff but to actually like have it here like i have this collected now oh man like i just i have this like funny feeling like to, now i'm going to set up a like uh, something in like on the yoga bow and then i'm going to put my my son douglas on the yoga bow and then we're going to do Back to the Future of the Ride. And I'm going to, like, articulate the yoga bow because it's, like, this big, giant, like, you know, beanbag thing, right? So I can, like, manipulate it and then, like, you know, like, do the movements for him and, like, actually make it look like he's flying and give him, like, an actual ride inside. Oh, that's totally happening. All right, cool. So um, anyway, it also has uh, Doc Brown Saves the World uh, short film uh, at a time restoring the DeLorean, um, which I guess is another documentary. And it says, and much more. Um, I don't know what and much more is, but you know, let's crack this baby open and see if we can find out more about all of this stuff. 
So of course, uh, the 4K Ultra HDs, especially from the uh, Universal side of things, tend to come pretty loaded. You get the 4K Ultra, or D, Ultra HD Blu-rays, you get the regular Blu-rays, and then you get digital codes, which obviously, guys, I will keep to myself. Thank you very much. Um, but let's take a look. So it's pretty cool. It's like a booklet thing. Um, you got the DeLorean there. You got the classic um, Back to the Future, you know, poster image, right, if, of uh, Marty there. And then it's, I think it's Marty and then Marty and Doc and then Marty and Doc and somebody else. Person, uh, the lady who played Clara, maybe? I don't know. Um, so anyway, let me open, let me open this way first just to make sure I can get all of the things that need to get got. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. We're going to put that right over here. That's the codes. Okay, cool. So, all right. So let's take a deeper look in here. So as we open this up, um, we've got like the 19, the 1885 and 1955, 1985, 2015, uh, of course, you know, October 21st, hence today. That's pretty cool. It's got the uh, the cool looking um, poster. You got your uh, 4K Blu-ray bonus features, deleted scenes, Tales from Back to the Future, the beginning, Tales from the Future, Time to Go, Keeping Time, and all sorts of cool stuff in here. I won't read everything because it's just, look at the, look, look, look. There's like ridiculous amounts of stuff on here. Um, Let's see if I can get some highlights. A the theatrical teaser trailer, like I always like to have like the cool, like, you know, like the stuff that was the real trailers and, you know, I, I like the, the, the uh, behind the scenes stuff. I love deleted scenes. I like, I love, love, love deleted scenes. And um, of course, commentary. Sometimes it's cool like to watch a, a movie with commentary track. You gotta be really, really into whatever movie it is um, in order to do that or really be into, into like how they made the movie. Uh, in order to do that kind of stuff, but it is cool, and this is included here. You get Rob Zemeckis, and you get uh, the producer, Bob Gale, um, and then you get uh, other feature commentary with uh, the Bob Gale and uh, the other producer, Neil uh, Canton, um, is on the, the, the whole feature, like where they watch the movie and do the things. The other one is a Q&A um, commentary. So you watch the movie, and they're doing a Q&A in the background, so it's kind of like a talk over, like a YouTube talk over video or something like that. So anyway, that's pretty cool. Um, the discs, let's take a look and see, see what they are. So the ultra, you know, ultra 4K disc, I mean, it's pretty, pretty solid art, artwork. Um, very much in tune with the, the poster. And then, of course, the regular Blu-ray, very similar, very similar image right there. So we go to Back to the Future 2. Um, again, same kind of thing. You got the deleted scenes, you got the Tales from the Future stuff, you got a whole bunch of stuff with like outtakes and uh, storyboarding and all sorts of cool stuff. The theatrical trailer again, you got the commentaries again by everybody that's, you know, same thing. Um, the commentary Q&A with Zemeckis and Gale, and then Gale and Canton for the, the feature commentary. Uh, so that's kind of cool. Let's take a look at the discs. Very cool. Very cool, very cool. And I'm sure it's, you know, again, the same thing. The Blu-ray here. There we go. All right, so then we go to Back to the Future 3. Um, some people, like, you know, some people really like that this movie. Some people really don't. Um, I'm in the, like, if I can I can dig it. You know, I can dig Back to, Back to the Future 3. Um, it's one of those things where it's like, I always love watching them in order. And then when we get to 2, you have to watch 3. So I'm in that camp. Um, I'll watch one over and over and over and over again. Um, it's, you know, like definitely the favorite of the, of the series in my opinion. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it, it was Clara. It was Clara on the, on the, uh, the poster there. And then let me just double check. Yes. And it was of course doc for, for back to the future two. So, so that's kind of cool. And then you got this other disc here. It's kind of neat. And then again, same, same kind of thing, deleted scenes, um, Tales from the Future, uh, Outtakes, uh, the uh, ZZ Top Double Back uh, music video. I think it's like that, uh, you know, the, the, the song that they play in the, uh, like the, the hoedown or whatever. 
uh, that, that scene where he does the frisbee, um, which is kind of cool. Um, facts about the trilogy, theatrical trailer, which is awesome. Back, Back to the Future of the Ride is on this DVD, which is interesting because I think there is actually a bonus disc. Yes, there is. Um, we'll get to that in a second, but that's interesting that they put the ride on the Back to the Future 3 disc, but I don't know. What, maybe they just didn't have room. Um, and then again in the commentary, the, uh, the Zemeckis and Gale and the, the Gale and the Canton. Um, so, so anyway, so if you guys are looking for Back to the Future of the Ride, it's on, uh, it's on the third disc. It's right there. Yeah, right there. Whoops. Yeah, right there. Back to the Future of the Ride. I don't know. It's weird. All right, cool. So then there's the bonus disc. Um, so what do we got here? Hollywood Museum goes back to the future, back to the future musical, the musical behind the scenes. Wait, there was a musical too? That's interesting. I didn't know that. I don't know about that. That's pretty cool. I'll have to check that. I'll have to check that. Uh, an alternate future lost audition tapes, which is kind of cool. Uh, so those are always kind of you know neat to see like several years after because you can get like young actors that you didn't even know tried out for parts. And then all of a sudden, like, you know, you, you, their, their auditions and see their, may, what might have been their version of Marty or Doc or, you know, like uh, Jennifer or, or Claire or anyone, uh, Biff, um, you know, they, and any, you know, you know, you know. Um, uh, the could you uh, survive the movies thing, the uh, 2015 message from Doc Brown, um, which I think I saw um, in 2015. That was the year that my uh, brother-in-law. Uh, you guys know him as Diabolic or Eric, um, got married in 2015 in October, missed it by two days. Um, I know he's a little, a little sad about that, but, um, but what are you going to do? Get, get married on a Wednesday? Uh, come on. Um, anyway, <clears throat> um, Doc, Doc Brown saves the world at a time restoring the DeLorean, looking back to the future. Um, and then the other one that you want to see, you want to see it back to the future, the animated series. Um, uh, Brothers season one, um, season one episode one, and Mac the Black season two episode one. So I don't know if the rest of the seasons are on here or not. If I had to get them collected otherwise, or they are included. There's a bonus disc looking. That's pretty cool. You got the DeLorean there, um, or they're like collected somewhere else. I could have sworn that when I, when I, um, when I pre-ordered this, that the the entire animated series is part of the collection. So, like, I don't know. Maybe it's in the digital. I'll have to, I'll have to check on that and get back to you guys. Um, you know, throw it in the comments or something like that. <clears throat> but I could have sworn that the whole series was here. So, like, that was, like, you know, you bought this one thing, and now, like, 4K, you got everything ever, and, you know, it's pretty awesome. Now, obviously, the, the, the animated series probably is not going to be in 4K. Um, this disc is a Blu-ray disc only, so it's not a 4K Blu-ray, the bonus disc. So, you know, clearly it's just going to be like 1080p. But you also hit the 2015, like the, you know, the future uh, commercials. You get the hoverbo hoverboard commercial and you get the Jaws 19 trailer. Um, the one that was like, you know, the big shark comes out and like tries to eat Marnie. Um, it's, uh, it's pretty good times. So that looks pretty awesome. And, you know, it's very well collected. I really like the packaging. I really like the artwork. Of course, everything about Back to the Future is like, you know, like bright and sleek and, you know, like 80s futuristic and that kind of stuff. But, you know, it does really look, um, really look good. And, you know, even even when it's on the shelf, um, you know, you got the spine stuff there um, looking looking pretty cool. You know, for for those of you that are like super, um, you know, super into it, super nerd uh, action about the um, the specs of stuff, um, we do have, uh, confirmed 2160 UHD Dolby Vision, HDR10, um, plus an HDR10, so, like, it supports all of the, like, super high-res, um, things for all of the features, um, so, like, so the, the, uh, you know, all the movies have all that stuff, and of course, you know, your audio stuff, you got Dolby Atmos on all the 4K, um, uh, feature films and then the uh, DTS HD uh, master audio. Now, this is part of the thing where I'm I'm a huge audio fan. I'm a huge audiophile. Um, you guys can get in there if you if you can see that kind of stuff um, as we talk about that real real quick. Um, <clears throat> I mean, 
so the Atmos versus the the uh, DTS HD Master, I know there's technically a difference, and I know it's better spatial sound and all that kind of stuff. And if you got the equipment, and you got the gear, and you got the right speakers, and they're all in the right place, and you've tuned them, that it's supposed to be like the super amazing like different different experience. And maybe it's me just getting older, but man, like come on, like really, I don't know. Um, for me, it's one of those things where I mean, yeah, D DTS HD um, was pretty killer. And yes, I know technically, you know, technically the audio is smoother and better, but I, I don't know. These old ears can't hear, hear the difference anymore. Um, so, you know, it, I just like the fact that they, they have the feature. It's in here. So for those of you that are looking for it, they did go the extra mile. They put the Atmos in there. They put the, uh, the Dolby Vision HD 10 plus. Um, so it's going to look really pretty on all the, all the screens that you want and come, come, it's going to sound great on all the speakers that it's going to come out of. So that is pretty cool. I'm going to look at the back of the box here again. Yeah, it just says all this stuff and much more. It doesn't really say anything about the the actual you know, one hour all new special features. Yeah, it doesn't say anything about the thing. I'm a little disappointed because I thought for sure it was going to come with the entire entire series. Maybe there was another SKU and I pre-ordered the wrong one or something like that, but I mean, hey, I think the price of admission plus that cool deal that I got on Amazon um, which is where I ordered this from. Um, they actually put it on sale like right after the pre-order, um, which was pretty cool. So I got a really killer deal on it. But again, that's pretty neat. I don't get the, you know, I know it's just magnets, but still, like it's it's a hoverboard, and that's you know it's 2020, so you got like nostalgic hoverboard action. So anyway, hope you guys like the uh, little opening of the box of the Back to the Future 35th an anniversary trilogy. Um, I don't have anything more for you right now, so we're going to just go to the, uh, the wrap-up, and I'll see you in a couple seconds. All right. Well, that was a pretty cool little box opening. Can't wait to crack in to those movies and throw them in my Xbox One X, because it's the only 4K Blu-ray player I have in the house, and uh, go to town on that. But for now... I am going to enjoy having this thing float around. I don't know. I just think it's, I just think it's neat. It's kind of cool. It's definitely, definitely going on my desk at work. Like, as soon as I'm done doing the recording, I'm totally going to do that. But anyway, so what do you guys think? You guys are fans of <clears throat> Back to the Future yourselves. Think the Blu-ray trilogy collection is cool. Are you disappointed like me that there wasn't definitive things that say you get all of the animated goodness? What do you guys think? Just throw it down below in the comments and you know let me know if you know this off the cuff kind of box opening thing is, is cool with you guys. I had fun doing it. So if you guys liked it, again, hit me up below. Don't forget to hit like. Hit subscribe if you, you like what you see and you want to see more. And until next time, we'll catch you next time for some good times. This is Rich, and we'll see you later.